sun is the primary life giver on our planet. For centuries, people have worshipped the sun and used its light and heat for their daily activities. Many festivals in India, like Pongal, have ceremonies centered around giving our thanks to the sun. Therefore, it is unsurprising that one of our renewable energy sources is the sun. So, let's first look at solar energy. So, what is solar energy? Solar energy, as the name suggests, is the radiation from the sun capable of producing heat, causing chemical reactions or generating electricity. Solar technologies have been created to convert sunlight into energy through photovoltaic panels or mirrors that concentrate solar radiation. This energy can be used to generate electricity or be stored in batteries or thermal storage. There are two main ways in which solar energy can be utilized. One is through the photovoltaic system and the other is through the concentrated solar thermal system. Let's learn about them. Solar photovoltaic PV systems use solar cells to capture the sun's energy and convert it into electricity. These solar cells are also called photovoltaic cells because of their photovoltaic effect. Photovoltaic is a Latin word where photo means light and voltaic means electricity. In this system, Panels are put on the roof to collect sunlight and turn it into power. So, if you see big shiny panels on the roof of a house, that house is using solar energy. Solar energy can be used to power anything in your house that needs electricity. On the other hand, the solar thermal heating system uses the sun's energy and converts it into heat. Its application is for getting hot water and heating up any space. This system needs mirrors to reflect and focus sunlight onto a receiver plate. The energy from sunlight heats fluid in the receiver plate and the hot liquid can then be used to generate electricity. However, solar energy can be used for household purposes and to power many different things. Solar panels can be put on simple gadgets like calculators to complex machines like cars, boats and even space satellites. Today, there are even planes that run on solar power. Let us ask Mr. Kishore how he uses his home solar energy setup. Hi Bhumi, as you can see, I have installed a few solar panels on my roof. They are enough to power my entire home. Oh, that is wonderful to see. Can you please tell me more? Sure. I was hesitant at first wondering if solar energy would produce enough electricity. Would it be expensive and would it work properly? So, was it expensive to install and aren't you worried about depleting this resource? Solar energy is unlimited and renewable. It is also non-conventional energy, so it can be everlasting. I never have to worry about it getting depleted. It also reduced my electricity bill. The average electricity consumption in my house is about 100 to 200 units per month, where the price per unit was 101 to 150 units is rupees 4.80 per unit. 151 to 200 units is rupees 6.40 per unit. In addition, using solar energy, I saw that a 300 watt solar panel installed was generating. 1.2 units of electricity per day. That means I saved 120 units just by using a single 300 watt solar panel. Uh, also, Mr. Kishore, is maintaining these solar panels expensive? Not at all. Not only was the cost of maintaining the solar panels low, but I could use it for many different applications like solar heating systems, solar cookers, solar light systems, solar chargers for electrical vehicles and many more. FAQs about solar energy Now I know what some of you must be thinking. The sun is visible only for a certain amount of time during the day. But what about days when it is cloudy, it rains or during long winters? How do you use solar energy at that time? I had such doubts too that my teacher answered. Let me share them with you. Is solar energy dependent on weather conditions? Yes. 
solar energy can fluctuate seasonally and even hour to hour as local weather changes. However, it does not mean that solar operated applications will not work during that time. Just by storing the energy that is produced during peak sunlight hours, we can easily access it later when the sun has gone down. A battery stores the energy generated by the solar panel instead of returning solar electricity directly to the household appliance or grid. The stored energy from battery can be utilized for later use. Does it require a lot of space for installing the solar panels? While solar panels take up space, this is not a cause of concern because in urban or rural India, almost all commercial buildings and houses have rooftops or backyards that receive ample amount of sunlight in a day. This makes them an ideal location to harness solar energy and then convert it into electricity. Is it very expensive to use solar energy? While solar energy itself is free, the batteries for storing solar energy can be expensive. However, pairing your solar panels with batteries to create what is known as a hybrid solar system comes with a number of advantages in the long run. These can be excellent source of backup power, increase your energy independence and in some cases can even save you more money on your electricity bill because you will be drawing power from the battery instead of the grid.